Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm doing part 2 of the Top Hat tutorial in Blender 2.8. You guys have waited for this tutorial for over a year now. Um, it seems like I've had it requested almost every day, so finally I have some free time and I'm going to make it happen for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Blender and we're going to clear our scene. So just press A to select everything, X and delete everything. Next we're going to add a cylinder. Now. Um, before we get started, we jump into things, I'm going to pull up a reference, and this will give us kind of a good idea of how we're going to work. So we need three things. We need the bottom part of the top hat, which is this thick part that comes out. We need the band, and we need the top of the hat, obviously. So we're going to work from the bottom up and make that happen. First we're, we're going to do is select the top face. Now what I mean by that is, in Blender there's three types of selection. You have the face select, which allows you to select faces. You have the edge select, which lets you select individual edges or lines. And then you have the vertice um, select, which lets you select each of these little points. So what we're going to do is use face select and we're going to select the top face and we're going to bring it down like that. So now we have the bottom of our top hat. By the way, if you're new to Blender and you don't really know the controls, you use Shift F to move freely. You can use your middle mouse to rotate it along um, your origin point. Um, but we're just using Shift F. From here, we're going to insert faces to create our top hat. So what I mean by that is, if we extrude it right now, it's just going to be a flat circle. So we want it to come in. What we're going to do is press I to insert faces. And as you guys can see, it created that circle for us, but we need to give it dimension, make it 3D. So what we're going to do is press E to extrude and drag it up, just like that. Now all we need is our band. So what we're going to do is go over here where it says loop cut and we're going to press it. Next just click. Now that we made the cut along this mesh, we're just going to drag it down to however thick we want our band to be. Something like that for me. Next we're going to select faces again and then alt right click to select this band and then alt E. And using Alt-E, we're going to go to Extrude Faces Along Normals. And then just drag it out, however thick you want it to be. Something like that's good for me. Next, we have all these lines and geometry on it. We want to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is go to um, Faces, Shade Smooth. Next, we want it to look nice and... Um, uh, we're going to make it kind of have hard surfaces. So what we're going to do is go to this little uh, object data properties, this little triangle right here. And um, we're going to go to face, uh, we're going to go to normals and turn on auto smooth. And you can leave the angle at 30. That creates a nice smooth top hat look for us. Exactly what we're looking for. Now all we have to do is color it. So what we're going to do is open up any Photoshop application, or in our case we're just going to use Google, and we're going to type in color palette. You can pick any colors that you think would look nice on your top hat. Um, for my case, I'm going to use these nice electric blue looking colors. I'm going to save this image, and um, we're going to use those to color it. Keep in mind, you can't use these for commercial use unless you have permission, so don't sell your top hat or anything if you're using a color palette that doesn't belong to you, which is why I recommend creating your own. Next thing you do is we're going to create a texture. So selecting the object, we're going to go to texture and press new, and we're going to open up that color palette and just drag it in. Right? Next, we need to set this texture to our top hat. So we're going to go to Material and press New. And under our base color, we're going to select Image Texture and open up our, uh, our 
uh, color palette again. If you want to preview it, um, you can press, um, go right here and press this button, viewport shading. And as you guys can see, our colors on our top hat, we just need to um, tell it where we want it to be. So what we're going to do is go up here where it says UV editing. And this is where the fun part happens. So we have our top hat. We're going to select X on the viewport, um, the axis. And we're going to press U to unwrap. What this does is project this top hat onto this image. So if you guys pay close attention, you can see that um, if we select the top part here, it selects over here. Likewise. So what we're doing is um, we can preview it as well. If we move something over here, it's going to change the color over here. So that's how we're going to color it. What I'm going to do is press um, U to unwrap and then I'm going to project from view. And this is where we choose our colors. For mine, I'm going to do a nice blue and then I'm going to do a lighter blue for the band and that's all. Maybe something like that. Maybe I'll do pink. Yeah, I like that. So now that we have our top hat done and colored, it's time to export to Roblox. What you need to do is go to File, Export, Wavefront, or .obj, and just name it real quick. I'm going to call mine Top Hat, and export it. Next, open up Roblox Studio. And go to, um, once it's open, you're going to right click, press insert object, and then mesh part. Selecting the mesh part, we're going to go to the properties panel in Studio, and under mesh ID, we're going to import the mesh that we just exported. Like that. Oops, I imported the wrong one. So make sure you name it when you export it. Documents. We're just going to call it Top Hat. There we go. And open it up. And there should be your Top Hat. So that's how you make a top hat in a uh, blender and import it into Roblox Studio. Some common problems people have, I get comments about all the time, uh, say your color doesn't import. All you have to do is go to roblox.com slash develop, click decals and click choose file, then upload the color palette that you just saved. Once it's uploaded, just click this, go to um, the ID at the top copy it and you're gonna paste the ID into the mesh and that'll just add the color for you if it's missing anyways guys that's how you make a top hat in blender 2.8 if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful make sure to like comment subscribe because I make tutorials all the time I'd love to have you as a part of my channel thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time